Super Hypercube is a spatial reasoning puzzle where you control a cluster of cubes floating right in front of your face. We originally created it as part of an event. We were trying to see if having stereoscopic 3D in a game could be used in a way that was meaningful for gameplay. And what we found then was that just having a stereoscopic effect wasn't really adding very much. Adding the head tracking was what really made it work. It gave you this kind of magic window into the game. You really felt like you were in an environment that not only had depth, but it also had immersion. You were actually in the space. So in the game, you start as a cube and you move through space, moving your cube through a variety of holes in oncoming walls. Every time you go through a wall, another cube gets added, so the shape becomes this cluster of cubes with a very irregular outline, and you have to figure out how to rotate that cluster in order to fit through this hole in the wall that's coming toward you. But because you're behind the cluster, you can't see the hole, and you have to move your face, your body, so that you can see the hole, figure out how to rotate the cluster to get it through the hole in the wall. And you do this basically until you die. It's an arcade game in VR. It's like a baby's toy. It's extremely simple. The intention with the look of the game was to imagine what VR might have looked like if it was a viable technology in the 70s. We were very influenced by light and space artists like James Turrell, Dan Flavin, by early computer graphics work, including work by John Whitney. Virtual reality of, say, the 80s in things like Blade Runner or Xanadu. Things like targeting computers in Star Wars, 2001 A Space Odyssey, things that had a lot of neon lights, futuristic interfaces. not trying to do a photorealistic, recreated environment. Instead, it creates its own reality. It was a VR game all along, and now the space envelops you completely. It's not just a magic window. You're not just peering into this world. You are in the world. 